Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasion series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at point clouds and how to reduce them. So just before we do anything, just to say that the source code came from there, MATLAB Central File Exchange, and there the there's the bitly of it shortened. And these chaps here wrote a paper, uh, and that's the bitly of it there, MATLAB Central File Exchange. So I found the code, and these are the chaps there where they uh, wrote the paper. So it's all there, and if you want an in-depth, to go read the paper. So we have point clouds. You know whether you got it from a laser scanner, you got it from images or wherever, and they are fairly dense, and you want some way of reducing it. So there are twelve methods presented here. And I've published it and made a PDF of it. And when I ran it on my own, it took 495 seconds to do that. And I'm running a Pentium i5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So you you would see the need for an i7 loads of RAM and possibly a GPU with um, a power for loop in MATLAB. So there's the paper I mentioned. Uh, journal for photogrammetry and there's the second paper there uh, they're all there okay so these chaps here they gave us a point cloud called line and I'm not going to go through every single line of it right, because it's, it's going to take a while uh, so we read it in There's all the points of the point cloud and with our random sampling strategy we got that. So just to go back to there, in case I'm jumping a little quickly, um, there's the command PC select random sampling and we're going at 5%. Okay, so there's the before, there's the after. Okay. Number two is interval sampling, so we're going to do every 10th, every 20th, every 30th. P-select interval sampling, 50, so we're thinking every 50th point. There's the before. There's the after. Okay. Next up, uniform sampling. Uh, uh, we're there, uniform sampling of, of a voxel size 3. So a voxel is a volume element with a, a concatenation of volume and pixel. So all the points. And there's the voxel base element. Uh, next one up is leverages. I have to say, in all honesty, this is the one that I found most difficult to get. It's detailed in the paper, but I'm just going to uh, run it there. There's all the points and there's the leverage sampling. Uh, the maths is quite detailed when you looked it up, so you know, your linear algebra would want to be up to spec. Can't comment on that too much. Next one up, the normal vector. So you would have met this in graphics where you'd be getting surface meshes and you'd be calculating the normal vector to the surface. Uh, a command used here is just there, PC normals. There's the before. There's the after. Next one is the attribute and there is only one attribute. Well, actually there's four attributes for the line. There's RGB that's red, green, blue, and roughness. So we're going to select the attributes on roughness here. So there's to be four, there's to, and then selection of the roughness of the various points. Okay. Here we're going to select points within a selection window. So we're going to hive off a bit of the line and only select the points within that selection window. And there we are, we're setting the limits there of the, where we want to go. 
there's before and there's the after. So we're sort of getting the lines head. Next one, we're doing a poly, polygon or polygonal region. So you've specified the coordinates of the polygon. There's before. And then you've just selected the points within the tail. Uh, next one is specified voxel hull. Uh, you have two point clouds there. And you're getting the overlapping where the two overlap. There's both point clouds. And there's the selection where the overlap and the overlap is in yellow. Next one is selection points within the range of another point cloud. So, so we get a subset of a uniform sampling and then search all points within the range of one or in the range of whatever you want to do. You can search the search radius to there. There's the before. And there's the after. Uh, nearest means, nearest neighbours, excuse me, little frog in the throat, uh, read in the line, uniform sampling, and then we're here, just there, PC select, nearest neighbour, there's the before, and there's the after. And finally, we're setting a vertex profile in geosurveying terms. We're getting um, uh, um, an azimuth, and we can specify the azimuth, you know, no, whatever it is. So in this particular case here, we're getting um, an azimuth. I think it's of, uh, just one sec. Yeah. So. Sorry for jumping around. There's our cross section and there's our line width. So we're specifying a certain uh, azimuth. There's the before and there's the after. Hope that helps a little, just a little, and it'll give you some idea of how to tin out or subselect a very dense point cloud. And once again, just go up to the top. These chaps are from the University of Delft and the intellectual property is theirs and theirs alone. Thanks very much for listening.